Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look here. I've also paired it with two different lip colours. One is very dark and one is more light. And if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting off with primer and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish. Okay. I've never actually used this before. I have kind of nicked it off my sister. Oh, it smells funny. It smells really odd. <laughs> Next I'm going to use foundation, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 52 Vanilla. This is like my all time favourite foundation. I'm such an idiot. I was going to do my eyes first. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do foundation and then I'm going to move on to the eyes. But I'm just going to avoid putting foundation on my eye area. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use a beauty blender to buff this in. Not buff it in, like dab it in. <laughs> I find with beauty blenders, like, you just don't get as much coverage as you do a, a like, brush. I find it just soaks up half of it, so I don't use them really often. I mean, they're great for concealer, but they do, like, soak up a lot of the product, especially the Real Technique ones. I mean, I've heard the actual beauty blenders aren't, aren't so bad for doing it, but these Real Technique ones just bloody soak up everything. <sighs> of course, I'm going to use my Smashbox Shape Matters palette. I think you can buy the brow products from this palette separately, so if you were interested in buying, I'm pretty sure you can get them. Um, I know it's annoying that I keep using one product from a, a, like a set but I don't actually have anything else for my brows I really like so I'm just gonna use this for now the color it's called is soft brown I can't um, whoops can't have that falling onto my face can I when I got both my naked palettes I got four samples in each so I've got eight samples of these and they are the primer potions and I'm going to be using the original one. There's actually quite a lot in here but it all squirts out. Okay. Oops. I didn't realise when I first used it how like I bit by like how far the product goes. So I prime my eyes, I'm going to step them because I don't want my eyeshadow like proper sticking to it, well I do want it sticking to it, but I want it to be able to blend that easily. So I'm just going to use the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel and it's in the colour 002 Pink Blossom. So I'm just going to put this on my eyelids to set it. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Flawless Palette. As you can see I have been using this palette but that is because it's so nice and I've tried this look out a few times before because I do actually really like it. I'm going to start off with this colour here and it is called Red Night so that one's got black on it. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and just blend this into my crease. These palettes are really expensive but they are actually so good. Okay I might zoom you in a bit. So I'm just blending this into the crease nice and thoroughly. And I'm going to go in with another blending brush to help blend that out a bit because it's a bit, it's looking a bit harsh at the moment. So once I've done that, I'm going to take the colour Pure Chocolate. It's this colour here. And as it's a really dark colour, I'm going to put this like literally just in this crease bit here. Okay, I'm just like really darkening this up and especially in this corner here. I really want. I'm just going to take the fluffy brush I used before and like kind of blend that out a bit. This is the next colour that I'm going to use and it's in the shade Highlight and I've used so much of this colour already it's not great. Well it is great, the colour, but not that I've used a lot of it. <laughs> okay, it's a really nice, well it's very very silvery, actually it's pretty much white if I'm honest. Like on the tray it looks really cream but it is very very white colour and I'm putting this on my finger because I find that these colours come out a lot more pigmented when they are applied with your finger. So I'm just going to go back in with my fluffy brush and blend that out because I don't want it to look super 
not blended. And then I'm going to go back in with a bit more of the white shade, literally just so I get all the pigment. Okay, I kind of wanted the look to be a bit more darker, so I'm going to go in. So I'm going to go with this sparkly black here, as I don't really have a more darker burgundy. And I'm literally going to put this just in the very, very corner, just to darken it up. Um, I'm just going to go back in with the colour that I first used and apply this more to my the upper eye because that isn't coming up on camera either. So. Next I'm applying the Collection uh, Lasting Perfection Concealer. I love this stuff. Like in all my videos I just use the same concealer, the same foundation, but they're just my favourites so that's why. I'm just rubbing this in with my Lorac brush. It's going to set that with the same powder that I used earlier and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's very good at setting makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with a purpley colour that I used at the very beginning in my crease and I'm going to put this on my outer eye. I probably should just zoom me back in, shouldn't I? Whoops, that's out. I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. That's two. And then I'm just going to go in with the glittery shade called Highlight on the inner corner. What I'm going to use is the Rimmel Glam Eyes. Oh, I've messed it up already. I just put a massive blot on my face. Oh, well, 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 yeah. Anyway, so. I've really messed this up already. Oh, goodness. My hand's so shaky that I just can't keep my hand. Oh, what the hell? I think I've come to realise that I, I can't wear eyeliner, you know. I'm now just applying some mascara, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Extra Black. This mascara, it's so good. I don't think I'm ever going to do a check to get ready me again. That's cool. Now I'm going to do. I'm at the moment, God, it's talking now. I'm at the moment, this mascara is doing a pretty good job at separating them, but and take the end shade here I'm not going overboard with this I'm just going to contour my nose a bit as well can you hear something in the background with my mum I'm back in shopping <laughs> I'm going to use this Ted Baker blush and it's such a pretty colour. It doesn't say what the colour is because it's not really a makeup brand, but it just says lip and cheek tint. So I'm just going to apply this a bit on my cheeks to give a bit of colour. It smells, oh, it smells so nice. It smells like perfume. Okay, let's just buff this in a bit. Okay, so it's quite natural once you actually buff it in. I haven't actually used this before. I got it in a little set for Christmas. I think that's quite nice. Highlight. Okay, talking about highlight. No, actually, I lied. I'm going to go in with bronzer next. I'm going to use the bronzer from the Barry M Contour Kit. So, my cheek, my forehead, and a bit down my neck, just so that my face blends into my neck a bit because. I'm going to apply some of the Benefit High Beam. This is a really small tester size. I really like how this comes with a brush because it's so easy to like brush on your face. And also, it's quite good for your brows. Look how easy this is. I'm going to pat this in my finger. I haven't used this before, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like. I don't know how obviously, intense it's going to be. It's a more of a natural highlight. Like it's a lot more of a natural highlight. I don't know if that will pick up on camera, but it gives like a nice little sheen to the face. So for this um, makeup look, I'm going to give two lip options. One's a lot darker and one's a lot uh, lighter. Um, I'm going to go in with the dark one first. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Fever Glam 3. And as you can see, it's not working. <laughs> Okay. 
So this is the final look with the first lipstick. As you can see, it's very, very dark and um, quite dramatic. But I really like it. I think the lipstick goes really well with the eye. So yeah. So this is the second lip colour I'm going to pair it with and it's Faux by MAC. And that is the other finished look. I really like this look as I feel it's a lot more natural and I feel like if you wore this in the day and then you got home and didn't have time to do your makeup again and you just changed to the other lipstick, I feel like because it's a darker lipstick it turns into way more of a night look and I really like that so they're both really versatile like this can easily be worn in the day or the night so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!